Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a member of staff will post a different work of art from the museum's permanent collection and post some discussion questions. Check back each weekday at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new discussion. My name is Alex and I work in the Rosenthal Education Center at the Cincinnati Art Museum, also known as the REC. Directly outside of the REC in Gallery 101 lies the 2,000-year-old mummified remains of an ancient Egyptian man. Some might find this kind of spooky, but I consider him to be a friend. Let's take a look. The Egyptians' complex beliefs about the nature of human life and the soul shaped the way they conducted funeral rituals. They believed that the soul required a body in which it would spend eternity. Therefore, preservation of the body through mummification became an important aspect of the funeral ritual. This mummy is rather mysterious. We don't know much about who he was or where he came from, but what we do know we have learned from the intricate decorations painted on the mummy's cartonnage or the layers of wrapping material around the body. On the crown of the mummy's head, Capri, the scarab beetle deity, pushes the sun across the sky and through the underworld in an eternal cycle of renewal and rebirth. On the chest, an elaborate collar is decorated with lotus blossoms. Like Capri, the lotus is a symbol of regeneration. A shrine with a lotus flower and two upright buds is painted in the center of the collar. Below the floral collar, the scarab beetle is again represented, his wings outspread. The hieroglyphics around the scarab beetle just below the collar tells us that this is the anonymous son of an anonymous woman. An x-ray of the mummy taken at the Cincinnati Children's Hospital tells us that this man passed away at about 35 years of age. This mummy and his enigmatic wide smile have always intrigued me. Who was he? Why was he given the honor to be so lavishly decorated and preserved? How did he make his way to Cincinnati? Is he still with us? At least one guard has admitted to seeing a strange mist resembling the figure of a person rise up above the case holding the mummy, linger in the air for a few moments, and then disappear as suddenly as it appeared. In any case, the mummy and I have a special good night ritual that we do every evening at 5 p.m., and today I'd like to invite you to join us. Thank you for tuning in to learn a little bit more about the Cincinnati Art Museum's resident mummy. Please check back on Monday at 10 a.m. for a new work of art. Bye!